Maverick fam, how's it going? How's your mom and your boy Dion, aka I Maverick, bringing you guys choice. All right, what the fluff is choice, man? It's actually a short film that I did. It's the only short film I've ever done uh, when I was in college. I only went to college for one year, and so I was a freshman, and I did this. And I wanted to go for a fine arts degree. My, my school didn't have, like, a film degree or anything, but they had, like, a little film. They had film classes, and you get a fine arts degree. And so my freshman year, I went in, and I kind of, my second semester, I talked my way into a 400-level class. So only seniors were in this class. And the whole class, there was no there was no classes to go to. You just had to do a short film and submit it. I, my college year was wild just because I didn't do anything right I didn't I barely went to class like they I my, my my counselor told me or messed up and told me that you can like going to class was optional so I never went to any of my classes and so I wasn't really thinking about school I was playing basketball and there was like a week before the semester ended and I was like fluff I gotta do the short film so I wrote it filmed it edited it within two days three days tops and so you guys are about to see this. Now this was back in the day, so this was 2008 I did this. Actually, to the beginning of 2009 as the semester ended. And there wasn't like, we, I didn't have access to like the crazy cameras that we have today, so the quality is not as good. But I think there's a good message behind it. And so, I, I oh, my wife told me to do this a while back, but I'm like, I was so ashamed of this, cause it's like, you know, you're always super critical of your own work and looking back, like you gotta think this was, 10 years ago and like I just don't like it right I, I, but I'm working on not being as critical on myself and so obviously nine ten years later there's a lot I would have done different and I wish I did better but you know for a, a 18 year old this well, this isn't a bad short film and I hope you guys really get the message out of it I'm not gonna explain it too much but really it's just trying to I was trying to get across the, the the importance of our decision making and how one choice could have really big consequences. And so bear with it. There's some, you know, bad acting and there's bad audio and there's a lot of, you know, messed up things in it. But if you can look through that and just kind of laugh at it and and see a younger me, uh, you see definitely a more in shape. I, mean, I actually dunk in this. This was back when I could dunk and I was, you know, I was playing college ball. And so, yeah, I think you guys are going to get a get a kick out of it. I think you, some of you guys will laugh at parts of it, just seeing me in this light. And then hopefully you can still get the message on it. And I would love to actually come back and redo this one day uh, and do more things like this. Because I still have a heart and a, and a desire to to reach people on this kind of level. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to nervously just shut up and throw this to the video. I hope you guys enjoy. This is Choice. Uh, the actors that are in it is myself. Uh, you'll see my mom in it you'll see my older brother T in it he plays like you know one of the main characters uh, you'll see uh, my boy JC Shane I think that's it that was kind of they were part of my crew in, in college so yeah I love you guys enjoy choice let me know what you thought of it in the comment section God first God bless
the hell was that? Hey, you see a boy trying to put up a fight? Man, he's lucky I didn't shoot his punk ass. Come on, Gabe, you said he wasn't gonna hurt him. Think about it, man, it's either us or him. Survival of the fizz, baby. Hey, plus, you seen him make that first move. Nah, I didn't. I must have missed that part. Oh, so now I'm wrong, CJ, for something we did? I ain't saying you wrong. I'm just saying I feel bad, that's it. Man, give me that shit. Sitting over here feeling sorry for motherfuckers. Do you think anybody give a damn about your situation? About your problems? Exactly. Yo, you feel too bad to spend this motherfucker's money? Cause if you do, shit, that's just more for me. Hell no, I feel better now. Let's see what else we got in here. A watch? Hell yeah, pass that this way, baby. You must be out your damn mind. You didn't even want to do this in the first place. Get you then. What? Let's see what else we got. An envelope. Must be a letter of some sort. <laughs> see, that's what the hell he get. Who writes letters anymore? Shit, just hit him up on MySpace. Let's see what else we got. Man, looks like that's all. Hey, how much money we got? About five dollars. Yeah. Five punk ass dollars? Man, you could keep that shit. I could what? Shit, I'll keep the five punk ass dollars. You must ain't seen the Wendy's commercials. The three economy? Nigga, this a come up. Shit, I'll keep the five punk ass dollars. Yeah, you stupid fool. Hey, well, what you got going on tomorrow? I'm probably gonna hit by my mom's spot a little bit, check on her, see how she's doing. You know she just got out the hospital on Tuesday. Damn, yeah, that's right. Alright, then well, hit me up whenever you're done. For sure, I'm gonna head back to the spot. Yeah. Going up or you going down, man? Up. Mm, yeah, you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Nah, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like, how you know? No way. If you going up or down? Maybe because I know exactly where I'm going. Huh. Yeah. You sure about that? Oh, shit, well, you just pushed the up arrow down. So what's your name, kid? Chris. Chris what? Jacobs. How about you? You can call me Jason. So, Chris Jacobs, what you do, man? What do you mean, what did I do? I didn't do anything. Your first lesson, kid. You always doing something. I mean, considering life is full of choices. And from the look on your face right now, you look like you made a choice you weren't happy with. But I mean, whether you choose to admit that to me or not, so that's up to you. So what you said, I made the wrong choice? See, that's the thing, CJ. I mean, they do call you CJ, right? Yeah, my boys call me CJ, as you know. Lucky guess. But like I was saying, there ain't no right or wrong choices, man. Just consequences. Some you like, others you dislike. But see, that's the importance about decision making. Saying some of the smallest actions, man, can have some of the biggest consequences. But you gotta be careful, man. Nah, I don't believe that. Do you believe in God, CJ? Nah, I don't believe in God. I believe in something. And what's that? I don't know. Something. Well, I mean, you believe in something. You just don't know what it is you believe in. Yeah. I mean, does that make sense to you? No. Then why do it? Look, I don't know what I believe, okay? Hi, right, CJ. Just remember, man, out here, if you ain't got no beliefs, you lost, man. Are you going up or down? Like, why the fuck do you keep asking me that? Just something for you to think about, man. Whatever, man. I'll see you around. Aye, CJ. Yeah, you will see me around. I believe 
You ain't got no beliefs. And you lost, man. Hey mom, what's up? Christopher? Oh, come sit down. What a blessing. You come to visit your poor old mother. <sighs> yeah. So how you doing? How you feel? I'm fine. Doing fine. Couldn't be better. You're not good, mom. Look at you. Boy, you better stop with all that negative talk. You know, we don't give Satan no room to operate in our family. With the help of the Lord, I'm going to be just fine. Speaking of which, I got a blessing today. The hospital called. They have good news? Wonderful news. A young man, um, hold up, I wrote it down. His name is Matthew Phillips from the New Mexico Outreach Program. And this fine young man of God has decided to pay for my liver transplant. Isn't that a blessing? Yeah, that's perfect. One last thing for me to have to worry about. I was starting to wonder how we're going to pay for everything. The Lord always come through. Always. I guess God really works, huh? You guess? What kind of question is that? God always come through. Yeah. Guess you're right. Guess? I know I'm right. <laughs> Alright, Mom. I'm gonna head out. Just wanted to stop by, check on you. See how you're doing. Okay. You need anything else before I go? No, I'm fine, but thanks anyway. Alright, well, I'm out. Love you, Mom. Alright, love you too. On Christopher? What's up? You take care of yourself now. You know how I worry about you. Get some rest, Mom. What up? Oh my God, you need to stop, man. You scared me. <laughs> What up, CJ? I don't know what's up. You tell me. <laughs> hey, calm down. Calm down. Just trying to see what's up with you, man. Talk to you. Get to know you a little bit. What? I'm waiting for you to say no homo. That's what. You want to get to know me? Nigga, ugh. You like to touch little boys, don't you? CJ. You on that Michael Jackson type shit. Come on, man. I'm about to scream, nigga. I'm about to scream. Wait, hold, wait, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. No homo, all right? No homo. Just saying. Just trying to talk a little bit. For what? I don't want to talk to you. You bother me. I want you to leave me alone. That's what I want you to do. Oh, yeah? <laughs> See, you got the ball. Okay. Would you think you're a hooper? Oh, for sure. <laughs> okay. So I will do it. I'll make a deal with you. Play you in the game of one on one. I win, and we talk. And what about when I win? <laughs> Man, you win, I'll leave you alone. Forever. For sure. McKinley Park, 7 o'clock. Saying nothing. I'm gonna see you there, CJ. Hey, you'll be careful, man. What, you thought I wasn't? Nah, not really.
Check ball. Oh, you ain't gonna warm up? I just did. Yeah, I. Right. Check ball. What you got? So I'm right here. I'm right here. This shot all the way from right here. From right there. Man, right here. All right, for sure. Bet. Come on, man. Now let's talk. Man, so what you want to talk about? I want to talk about you, CJ. Okay, what about me? I mean, what's your story? I don't have a story. CJ, everybody has a story. Not me. <laughs> CJ, how old are you, man? 19. So you in college, right? Nope. I mean, you did graduate from high school then, huh? Nah, nah. CJ, talent like that on that court? Them skills you had with the rock? I mean, that's major potential. I mean, talent like that? And that needs to be in the ACC arena. Not, not out here in McKinney Park. Well, I mean, I used to play ball junior year for my school. But I got kicked off the team for fighting. Basketball was the only thing that kept me in school, so when I wasn't hooping no more, I figured why go to school? CJ, man, does that seriously sound like the best choice for you? See, there you go on that choices bullshit again, man. What's your story? I mean, what you want to know? What's your last name? Well, my full name is Jason Lowe. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. That's what's up. So I'm gonna call you J Lo. No, no. Nigga, you can't call me J-Lo. Why not? Because do I look like Jenny from the block to you? <laughs> All right, for sure. I'm not going to call you that. So J-Lo, I mean, I mean, Jason, why are you so interested in me, man? Well, I guess you can say it's my job, CJ. Your job? What's that mean? Well, here's the thing, CJ. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold that thought. G, what up? Okay, for sure. What time? Let me holler at you real quick. All right, I'm there. Shoot, it's been cool, J Lo, but I got a jet, man. So uh, I'm gonna get at you later, though. It was fun. Good game. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Hold... CJ. What up, G? Hey, yo, what up, CJ? Man, about time you showed up. My bad. Well, what's going on? Why'd you want to meet here? You know, I just thought we'd celebrate. Okay, well, we'll be celebrating. And you know, where the hell do we get celebrating money from? Because the last thing I'm doing is celebrating about how much money's in my pockets. Hey, yo, don't trip, CJ. I got us. Well, actually, my boy Matt got us. You want anything? Nah, I'm straight. But who the hell is Matt and where did you get this car from? Are you done with this, sir? Yeah, actually, just go ahead and take care of the bill with this. No, you're asking too many questions right now, CJ. Just relax. Don't you want to hear the good news? Depends. What's the good news? Look, you know that dude we jacked last night? Well, that's Matt. 
And after further examination of the stuff that was in his backpack, yo, I found bank statements, passwords, I found a checkbook. Oh, dude, it's loaded. Dude, we jacked a millionaire. But why the hell would a millionaire be walking down Eastern after midnight? I don't even know. Maybe fate. Damn, maybe God sent him. Nah, G, I don't think God's gonna send a millionaire for us to beat up. Yo, God works in strange and mysterious ways. Isn't that what your mom's is always saying? Okay. Let's say he was a millionaire. What's next? Look, old boy got two kids. So I'm thinking we go up to one of the schools, snatch one of them brats, and hold him ransom. Oh, oh, hell nah. Look, I've been down with some of your dumb shit in the past, G, but I'm not about to kidnap two kids. Nah, 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 nah. Look, I'm just saying. Think about it, because this can get us on the right path, get us out the ghetto. Yo, this may even be able to pay for some of your mom's medical bills. I, yo, you don't have to make a decision right now. I'm just saying think about it, all right? I'm sorry, Mr. Phillips, your car has been declined. What? Nah, I know I got money in there. Yo, go ahead and write out again. Sir, I've ran your car three times. <sighs> yo, I gotta go to my car. I'll be right back. <sighs> hey, yo, come on, DJ, let's go. Hey, look, man, come on. I'm not asking you to make a decision right now. I'm just saying, think about it, all right? All right, G, I will. All right, then, CJ, man. Say now. So, CJ, do you know if you're going up or down, man? Look, homeboy, I don't got time for your shit tonight, man. I'm going up for the last time. Then tell me what you believe in. I believe me and you about to have some problems if you don't stop asking me that same bullshit ass question. You just don't get it, man. Get what? I'm trying to help, CJ. With what? Help you. What about me? Your choices, CJ. What the hell you talking about? I tried to help you see the importance of decision making, CJ. <laughs> so you said I made the wrong choice? I told you, even the smallest actions can have some of the biggest consequences. Let's see what else we got? An envelope. Must be a letter of some sort. She just hit him up on my space. Be careful, man. Yeah, Gabe was right. Yeah, y'all robbed a millionaire the other night. But why the hell would a millionaire be walking down Eastern after midnight? And yeah, he ain't had no business being in your neighborhood. His name is Matthew Phillips. I has decided to pay my little transplant. Dear Janice Jacobs, my name is Matthew Phillips and I'm with the New Mexico Outreach Program. I've been informed of your situation and would be delighted to help you in any way possible. Enclosed is a check that will cover all medical expenses needed for you to receive your transplant. If there is anything else that I can help you with, please don't hesitate to ask. Sincerely, Matthew Phillips. Hey yo, where you going, dog? She just hit him up on my space. And close the check that will cover all medical expenses. CJ! Man, you don't understand the amount of importance that you need to place on every decision you make. From the company you keep to the words you speak. Look, you know I do with Jack last night? Well, that's mad. And after further examination of the stuff that was in his backpack, yo, I found bank statements, passwords, I found a checkbook. Oh, dude, it's loaded. Dude, we jacked a millionaire. Look, oh boy got two kids. So I'm thinking we go up to one of the schools, snatch one of them brats, and hold them ransom. 
A what? Hell yeah, pass that this way, baby. Hey, come on, DJ. Hey, come on, DJ. Hey, come on. How'd you know all that? Who are you? Well, I know who I am to you, CJ. Being you don't believe in angels. me is one thing, but you're not about to fuck with my little girls. Whoa, 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 I wasn't gonna hurt your little girls, sir. Don't fucking lie to me, shut the fuck up.